Good morning, my beautiful, wonderful, fabulous friends. It's about 11.25. I'm so tired today. Um, we were slammed at the pizza shop last night, nonstop. So I wanted to make lunch, but I didn't want to make a big deal. I just wanted something quick and easy for Brock and I to have. Can't get any simpler than this. If you're running around, you forgot to thaw something out for dinner, you had to pick up the kids, you're late, whatever, you worked over. This is the casserole for you. Quick, simple, delicious, easy. So, um, of course, this is just for Brock and I. I've got a two-quart uh, casserole dish here. Oven's heating up to 375. If you have a larger family, there's four of you. I suggest you double this. Okay, so for just the two of us, I'm going to start out with one can of cream of chicken soup. Listen, you know how I am about dishes. I'm going to cook this all in one pan. I'm going to stir it up in one pan. We've got our cream of chicken soup, one can. I've got two cans of Progresso chicken noodle soup. Now, it doesn't have to be Progresso. Um, just you want that chunky noodle soup. Look look what's left of our pulled the broth out there. I don't even know, a quarter of a way full. So if there's more of you than two, you'll probably want to do four cans of soup. Um, I know there's other brands that sell this chunky soup that has all the chicken and the vegetables in it. Doesn't matter what brand it is. This is just what I had in my pantry. And it's 103 calories, so that's what boss do. Okay, so two cans of that right in. I did drain the broth off. A little bit was left in the can. Not a big deal. The juice is fine. You just don't want that whole can of soup broth in there. We're going to gently stir that in because those noodles are cooked. You don't want to tear them up. So there we go. I guess I forgot to tell you what I'm making. This is called chicken noodle soup casserole. Okay, so there's that. I need a different spoon for my sour cream. Not trying to cross contaminate anything here. Okay, sour cream, um, I'm gonna say probably half a cup. I don't know, I'm just eyeballing it. We'll say half cup. Let's gently stir that in. Just because I like the creaminess of sour cream in this. Don't like it, don't want it, don't do it. Now, because the soups kind of have a lot of sodium type features to them, I'm gonna give it a taste and then I'll see what I wanna do from there as far as seasoning. Okay, spread that all out, get it all mixed in. here pretty good I don't think I want to add any salt for me it's it's fine I will have her add some black pepper I'm gonna stir that up stir it around a little bit listen this is done I mean seriously if you don't have time for this, I cannot help you cook anything. If you cannot, if you do not have time to dump three cans into a dish. Okay, so what, what is, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just telling you the truth because I love you and I can't help you. You're just gonna have to eat some microwave popcorn. Okay, so anyway, we got the two cans of Progresso soup, the one can of cream of chicken, now, I would say this would feed probably four people. I mean, I don't know. It depends on how big of eaters you are. You could use a 9 by 13 and double it. Two cans of the soup, two cans of the other soup, and then um, half a cup to three-quarters cup of sour cream, whatever your heart desires. Now, what is chicken noodle soup without crackers? Yes. So, I have some um, townhouse crackers here. I love crackers. You could probably use saltines. You could probably use potato chips. You know, like the old tuna noodle casserole recipe where they put the potato chips on. Just gonna take these, crumble them up. I got one. I got two sleeves here because I didn't know how much I would need. Listen, I'm not even gonna get out anything else to crumble these up. I'm just gonna use God's tools. Crumble them up right on top. One for me.
My kids are huge um, cracker eaters too. That's it. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of butter on top. That. There we go. Sorry, I'm chewing my mouthful. Put it in 350 degree or 375, and um, I'll be back to let you know how it looks. So here we are back with the finished product. I forgot to set the timer because in my um, video when I was filming earlier, you probably hear the phone ringing. My daughter was calling me. So I called her back after I got done uh, finishing this up. So I forgot to set timers. So I'm going to say probably 15, 20 minutes. You just want those um, crackers to get golden brown and everything get hot because, you know, everything's cooked. So you just want everything to get hot. So here we are. We're going to taste it. That we it's nice and creamy and soupy. It's got air in my little it's hot. Try it. Perfect quick lunch before we go back to work this afternoon. I would say this would feed a family of four. Add another vegetable with it, maybe some corn maybe some green beans or a salad, and you've got a meal done. You don't, have, you don't have to tell people how quick it was. You don't need to tell anybody anything. Just say, hey, here's dinner. Mmm. Oh, listen, y'all. This is like a warm hug in a bowl. This is comfort food at its finest. And it's absolute quickest. Absolutely delicious. Easy. My kids would love this. We're definitely going to put this in the rotation when the kids are home. I mean, like I said, church, um, social, uh, family gathering, um, picnic, whatever. You got to take something. Can't go wrong with this. Make you some. It's delicious. Mmm. Super pleased, super pleased with this chicken noodle soup casserole. I'm Kristen. Thank you for visiting my little country kitchen. Bye, y'all.